Hello, I'm Patricia, and this is the Poetry P podcast. It's lovely to be back with you out of the howling wind and storms that have been the Swiss summer the last few weeks. I'm not impressed, can you tell? This morning, I got into this year's summer hiking gear. You know, hiking trousers, long sleeve hiking shirt, and a raincoat, because I was fed up being holed up all weekend in the house because of the rain. And guess what? I got absolutely soaked to the skin. The local cows just looked at me with that all-knowing, wise look of theirs, and I could tell what they were thinking. Go home, you daft woman, and have a lovely cup of hot chocolate. So you know what? I did. When I finished that, I decided to record some lovely, fresh, newly minted haiku and senryu written by you for the video prompt and the latest flash coup. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're probably new to the podcast. So welcome. Let me tell you that there is always a video prompt on the Poetry P YouTube channel every month without fail. Do go and leave your poem in the comments. Linda reads them all. And of course, you have exposure to over 500 other poets across the globe. Do have a look. Do join in. Maybe add a comment on someone else's poetry and spread the love. Then, if you're on the Poetry P mailing list, the sign up is on the website in case you're not, you are invited to write haiku spontaneously. We spring the invite on our supporters and poets and give them 24 hours to send us a piece of work. The results of the latest one are on the podcast today. I do hope you enjoy them. And if you enjoy what we do, please spread the word about the podcast on social media. Maybe tag me on your postings to make sure I see them. I'm regularly on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you to everyone who sent us a submission on the YouTube prompt or for our flash coup. You're definitely keeping us busy and we're loving it. Thank you to Linda, Ron, Vendana, Liam and Robert, all of whom took part in choosing the poems for today's episode. The poems won't be in the show notes, but they will be in the next journal, 2.23, out later in the year. And if you haven't got the first one, 123, it's out now and there are details on the website. Of course, if you do have a few coppers to spare, you can always donate to the work of the podcast. And by the looks of things, I'm going to be needing to stock up on hot chocolate to get me through the summer. So all appreciated. Thank you very much. Now, without further ado, let me bring you Linda's chosen haiku and senryu from July's video prompt. It was, as you may be able to tell, a tango video. Thanks to my teachers, Elisa and Ariel, for allowing me to use one of them, trying to teach us what we should be doing. They have the patience of saints. God bless them. So these are the poems that were chosen by Linda from the July prompt. Grandma says tango never order be allowed. Now she's too old. Grandma says tango never ought to be allowed. Now she's too old. Keith Evans. Tango steps. We lead each other into temptation. Tango steps. We lead each other into temptation. Paul Callas. Tango passion. The sensual motion of her body against his. Tango passion. The sensual motion of her body against his. Kathleen Trockmet. A flutter of butterflies when he asks her to dance. First crush. 
a flutter of butterflies when he asks her to dance. First crush. Read Hepworth. It takes two to tango, red kite and the cloud. It takes two to tango, red kite and the cloud. Elisa Teriana. And thank you to all the poets who took part. Don't forget to compose something for us this month. It's on the YouTube channel, Poetry P. Now, as I said at the beginning, from time to time, we invite poets on our mailing list to send us some spontaneous haiku, our flash coup challenge. Would you like to hear the pieces chosen by the editing team to feature in the podcast? And, of course, in the next journal. Well, here goes. But whether your work was chosen or not, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for writing for us and supporting us. August's Flashku Poems Heat wave, the lazy circles of drain flies. Heat wave, the lazy circles of drain flies. Cynthia Anderson Eye to eye across the room, summer fireworks. Eye to eye across the room, summer fireworks. Bona M. Santos The lengthening shade of the yew colonnade, autumn wind. The lengthening shade of the yew colonnade, autumn wind. Keith Everts. Please note the rhyme in this haiku. How do you feel about it? Write to me, let me know. Spring afternoon, a child riding the gate arc. Spring afternoon, a child riding the gate arc. Govind Joshi Ice glazed trees, the echo of a buzzsaw. Ice glazed trees, the echo of a buzzsaw. Christine Wink Harrison Green Slime Pond The Sudden Plop of a Turtle Green Slime Pond The Sudden Plop of a Turtle Colette Kern Hand full of blueberries, the flavour of clouds forming rain. Hand full of blueberries, the flavour of clouds forming rain. Craig Kittner Hospice in the room for two, one winged butterfly. Hospice in the room for two, one winged butterfly. Samo Kreutz. Long summer days, the wild grass in the garden never ending. Long summer days, the wild grass in the garden never ending. Michel Roux. My teeth break the skin of the just plucked plum, warm flesh. 
My teeth break the skin of the just plucked plum. Warm flesh. Jenny Shepherd. Smeared with regret. Fig wasp. Smeared with regret. Fig wasp. CX Turner. Holding up the ribs of my umbrella. Summer afternoon. Holding up the ribs of my umbrella. Summer afternoon. Anna Maria Domberg, San Cristoforo. Anna Maria, I suspect you may, might be having the same sort of summer as me. Bad luck, eh? And of course, we always have an editor's choice and at least one honourable mention for the flash coup. And this time, we have two honourable mentions. Let me read them to you. City Rush, the stillness of dew on grass. City Rush, the stillness of dew on grass. Nina Singh. In a deep blue sky, the yellow undersides of cockatoo wings. In a deep blue sky, the yellow undersides of cockatoo wings. Giddy Nielsen Sweep. The poem that was chosen as our editor's choice is by a poet who is a first time submitted to Poetry Peak. Congratulations to Karen Hedetnimi. I hope I got the pronunciation right. My apologies if I didn't. And this is the poem she sent us. Rolling clouds. Summer slips through one blue hole. Rolling clouds. Summer slips through one blue hole. Karen Hedetnimi. That's it for today. Next time on the Poetry View podcast, we're going to hear more original poetry, this time based on our theme of Turiya Vaza. I'm happy to tell you that alongside Keith Everts, we've got three new voices on the podcast, Brian Lebanski, Srinivasa Rao Sambangi, and Jerome Berglund. I hope the internet fairies are going to be kind to us and you will hear their thoughts on some of the submissions you sent us. They do have some interesting pieces to discuss and things to say. Yes, I already know which ones they've chosen. So don't forget to submit to the video prompt on the Poetry P YouTube channel. Maybe even subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're not signed up to the mailing list, please do. And you can join us next time for Flash Coup. Thanks so much for all your submissions and for joining me today. Lovely to have your company. Don't forget to send me emails if you have thoughts and if you have ideas for what you want to hear next year. I'm very open and now would be the time to tell me. So until next time, keep writing. Don't forget, the poetry will not be in the show notes this time, just in the next journal. However, if there's something you think I should have put in the show notes, email me and I'll do my best. Ciao! Do you like the new music? I just thought, a little one-off, seeing as we're celebrating tango, thanks to Kevin MacLeod at Incompetech for this Tango de Manzana.